Let's take a look at the Trimax Ultramax wheel lock. So this is going to be one of the beefiest ways to lock your trailer, travel trailer, camper, or even some of the machines like ATVs, UTVs, and vehicles, and make sure that nobody's going to run off with it. This one's going to be a little bit better than some of the other ones on our site because it has a plate right here which covers your lug nuts so no one can remove the wheel and replace it and then take all of your stuff. So I think this is going to be the most secure way to lock up your stuff. This is going to work with most rim sizes from 10 to 18 inches. So you can either take a measuring tape out and measure the diameter of your rim, which is just where the tire starts to where the tire starts right here. Or you can just look on your tire and look at your rim size. So at the very end of your tire size, it's going to have an R there. So this says R15. So this is a 15 inch wheel. Here's the plate that we mentioned earlier, covers lug nuts so no one can remove the wheel. And it is on there pretty tight. There's a little bit of wiggle room, but there's no way someone's getting a tool in there. No way. It does have a little rubber strip around it, so you don't have to worry about it scratching up your wheels if you have some aluminum wheels or any type of wheels that look pretty that you like. Also, we have another little piece here, which is gonna be another point of contact with this wheel lock on our wheels, but it does have a little rubber wheel so it's not going to scratch up either. Even moving all the way down, you can kind of notice that we have a little bit of contact with our tire, which is what we were wanting, but there's also a little rubber strip on the inside there. So it's gonna protect your stuff from getting stolen, but it's also not going to scratch anything up or damage it while it's on there. What really makes this one extra, extra strong is this massive pod lock, padlock over here. This thing, one, is made of steel, it's very, very heavy, and it has a ridiculously unique key. I've never seen anything like this. I think it looks pretty cool, but it's gonna be very, very pick proof. So you just push this in like this, and then this slides out, which this thing is ridiculous. Hardened solid steel. I think this alone is gonna scare people off, but it's nice that they add that in because some of them don't come with it. This one does. To take this off, we wanna do it in a specific order. First things first, we wanna take the round keys, which is gonna be different than our padlock. They are also gonna be pick proof, so you don't have to worry about anybody picking these. We're gonna start with this little door right here, closest to our wheel. Then we're gonna take the tool included with our kit. It has a nice, unique triangle shape to it and a little handle here to make it a little bit easier on you. Lefty loosey, righty tidy. What this is gonna do is this little pivot point here, it's gonna move this arm back and forth. So that's what the first one does. So we're gonna loosen that up pretty much until it's all the way. It'll stop turning once it's all the way loosened. And I do suggest taking this door and just closing it just because it's kind of annoying when it's flapping around for this next part. So we're gonna take the round key again, put this in here, and we're gonna open this up, but we do have to remove this padlock first. This is gonna be the main mechanism, really, that's gonna clamp it down. So once the padlock's off, put our tool in there, lefty-loosey, and then this is going to control the center pivot point in between our two little handles right here. So as we start to loosen this up, it kind of spread out. I did find that it kind of gets hung up behind the drum, so if you do have drum brakes, on your vehicle or your camper or whatever, it does kind of get a little wedged in there. Even with the proper keys and the tool, it's still kind of difficult to get it on and off. So that's kind of good. So once we do that, pretty much done here. Now we can get a little bit closer look at all the rubber and stuff that's making contact. So there really isn't gonna be any metal on metal for your wheels or your tires. And also here's the little adjustments. I'm just gonna pull this out and I'll adjust all the way up and down to meet all sorts of different wheel sizes. Even on your trailers that have big center caps, it's still gonna fit. We tried this on here earlier and this is not a wheel chalk. This isn't gonna replace the chalks, but you don't have to worry about this interfering with the chalks because it doesn't really get in the way of that. So we're basically gonna do this exactly opposite of what we did to take it off. 
So first, kind of get it up into place. I like to have the little rollers like right on the start of the, the rim, and then we can adjust this down to meet the center just like that. I do like the adjustments because it just makes for a nice snug fit. So now what we want to do is we're going to start down here and tighten this up. And this is just going to clamp down kind of on the tire, really. On the sidewall closest to me is where we're really clamping down on. So kind of just get that, make sure it's nice and squared up. I do like to kind of just move it around a little bit just to make sure it's not really going to be jammed in there. So it sits nice and flush. Once that's done, we want to go ahead and take our keys and lock up that first door like this. And then this is where the padlock's going to go. I really like this padlock. It's really nice. Put this in there, push that in, lock it up. And then we're done with this little section. So now open up that little second door closest to the wheel and then tighten this up. Probably not a bad idea to kind of hold this to where you want it as you tighten it down. Cause once it gets tight, it'll pretty much stay there. Even with the bigger center cap on there and this thing fully tightened down, like I can see the lug nuts, but there's no way I'm getting a tool in there. Zero, zero chance. Well, that is pretty solid. The whole goal here is just to have a lock on your stuff that's a little bit more intimidating than the other locks on the other rigs around you. Just because this thing, it's very bright. Someone's gonna see it. Someone's gonna be intimidated by it and they're just gonna walk onto the other camper. So we call that a theft deterrent. I think this is gonna be one of the better types of locks for your wheels on all your different stuff. That's pretty much it. We showed you how to use it, the applications and all the things you kind of need to know to see if it's gonna work for you. We haven't really found something that this doesn't really work with. And I think this is gonna be one of the best ways to lock up your stuff, just to give you peace of mind so no one else runs off with it. That's pretty much it for a look at the Trimax Ultramax wheel lock.